There is nothing more unequal than the equal treatment of unequal people. We in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. Nothing gives one person so much advantage over another as to remain always cool and unruffled under all circumstances. Do not bite at the bait of pleasure till you know there is no hook beneath it. Timid men prefer the calm of despotism to the tempestuous sea of liberty. It is more dangerous that even a guilty person should be punished without the forms of law than that he should escape. How little do my countrymen know what precious blessings they are in possession of and which no other people on earth enjoy. Do you want to know who you are? Don't ask. Act. Action will delineate and define you. Commerce with all nations, alliance with none, should be our motto. History, in general, only informs us what bad government is. An honest man can feel no pleasure in the exercise of power over his fellow citizens. He who permits himself to tell a lie once, finds it much easier to do it the second time. Those who expect to be both ignorant and free, expect what never was and never will be. The only security of all is in a free press. Honesty is the first chapter of the Book of Wisdom. The most valuable of all talents is that of never using two words when one will do. A great deal of love given to a few is better than a little to many. Our liberty depends on the freedom of the press, and that cannot be limited without being lost. To compel a man to furnish funds for the propagation of ideas he disbelieves and abhors is sinful and tyrannical. I do not take a single newspaper nor read one a month, and I feel myself infinitely the happier for it. Every day is lost in which we do not learn something useful. Man has no nobler or more valuable possession than time. The man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. Leave no authority existing not responsible to the people. The whole art of government consists in the art of being honest. I cannot live without books. Good wine is a necessity of life for me. The boisterous sea of liberty is never without a wave. He who knows nothing is closer to the truth than he whose mind is filled with falsehoods and errors. 
I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. The will of the people is the only legitimate foundation of any government and to protect its free expression should be our first object. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy, as cause for withdrawing from a friend. The dead should not rule the living. I'm a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Peace and friendship with all mankind is our wisest policy, and I wish we may be permitted to pursue it. Enlighten the people generally, and tyranny and oppressions of the body and mind will vanish like evil spirits at the dawn of day. When governments fear the people, there is liberty. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. An enemy generally says and believes what he wishes. The natural progress of things is for liberty to yield and government to gain ground. On matters of style, swim with the current. On matters of principle, stand like a rock. Never trouble another for what you can do yourself. When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. I have no ambition to govern men. It is a painful and thankless office. I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. Equal and exact justice to all men of whatever state or persuasion. Where the press is free, and every man able to read, all is safe. I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. In questions of power, let no more be heard of confidence in man, but bind him down from mischief by the chains of the Constitution. We are not to expect to be translated from despotism to liberty in a feather bed. I hold it that a little rebellion now and then is a good thing and as necessary in the political world as storms in the physical. I would rather be exposed to the inconveniences attending too much liberty than those attending too small a degree of it. I am for freedom of religion and against all maneuvers to bring out about a legal ascendancy of one sect over another. It is reasonable that everyone who asks justice should do justice. If a nation expects to be ignorant and free, in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and never will be. Be polite to all, but intimate with few. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, 
that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave a comment. Click the subscribe button to get more videos like this one.